Hello everybody and welcome to Slay the Spire playing as the Defect on Ascension 4. This is the final act and what a run it has been. It's as if every single act we were playing a different deck. In Act 1 we got Rebound Streamline Hologram up front. So we were playing a Streamline deck uh, with all the support that we wanted along with that. In Act 2 we ramped up our orb manipulation because that was one thing we were deficient in. And then in Act 3 we started regurgitating so much that we picked up a claw because I thought that would be a good idea. And then we found an event that got the Twin Madness. So I was like, oh cool, because before we were like, how, how do we play the Consume? Because we do have an inserter so we want to play the Consume multiple times, but where do we fit it in? Because the combo we were already doing already cost us two energy per turn and we only have the three except for when happy flower is active so grab the madnesses and then lo and behold out of orrery we found all for one so now the deck has a new way of regurgitating that's even more powerful because we have um, dual cast and through trial and error figured out that madnesses should hit all for one and one of the cool headed because then we have a zero cost way of generating frost orbs and a lightning orb so we can like juggle the orbs and have the dual cast give us a whole lot of block and yeah it's just really taken off uh, we can't be weakened that's one of the new things uh, we're playing in a runic pyramid environment which is important to know uh, we have the horn cleat vajra data disc so yeah that's where we're at let's get this show on the road Final Smith opportunity. And I think Seek drawing for two is the best thing we could do. We have spent a lot of time grabbing cool headed so that fission gets bigger. And now we can grab both if we want to. Or zap to make the fission bigger. We could buy the blind shield and spirit because we do have the spirit shackle and or the dark shackles and shield and spear have artifact to begin with so I don't know how much mileage we get out of that and I also don't know how much we would need it with our whole dual cast frost orb thing um, if you've been watching the series you know I kinda regret the core surge pickup just because yeah it exhausts but until we pay the energy for it it's just sitting there so I th imagine blind, I know it costs zero, but uh, it would get in the way of our rotation, I think. So, on to these fights, which are going to be dramatically different than the ones we fought before, because the needs escalate very quickly. So we have Seek Plus here. We can actually go for Cool Headed and Fission here. Go for that. And that draws the zap, making the fission worth even more. Fantastic. Alright, we'll throw away the dark shackles. Uh, with all for one, kind of want to wait till we have the madnesses in hand. Alright, so claw there. Uh, both madnesses at the bottom of our deck, along with consume, which we figured out, like I said, through trial and error. We don't want the madnesses to consume. Inserter is going to give us another orb next turn, so we're going to want to do that. But we're also going to want to do the two madnesses. The flower is going to let us do all that, but uh, what are the chances it hits what we actually want them to? All right, so we got six energy here. Let's streamline hologram. Gives us the rest of the block. That uh, the first six came from fission on the frost orb. Take the streamline. So in light of all that, we don't actually want to do the all for one this turn. We want it sitting in our hand. So maybe we get rid of all the other casting cost stuff so that... Um, so let's play rebound last and just get rid of all the stuff. We have full block, basically. So that's a good place to be, I think. Alright, Horn Cleat kicks in, but that's nowhere near the 61 we need. Um, so we definitely want to consume to make our orbs bigger, because we're going to want to do this to get all the block we can. We also want to do this to get all the block we can. Hopefully we're going to get them right back. The only way this fails is if one of these madnesses hits the other one. 
And we are in the clear. So we cool headed first, because then all for one's gonna bring that back. All for one. Dual cast is back, so we can actually do this. Um, hang on. Yeah, let's do cool headed here. Drew a burn, which is not good. And what does this bring us up to? 58. And with this, we come up to 64. Don't even have to steam barrier again. Which is good, because the steam barrier actually degrades. So, bet you guys didn't think we would be able to block all of that. Alright, so now he's resting and it's his turn at bat. But I have bad news for him. We're already set up. So we'll do this and this. Now we want to face him because the pincer attack mechanic. Draw two more cards. Find another zero. Good. Now we can all for one. Don't need to dual cast the block, or do we? Yes, we do, actually. Did I miss that? I should have done that first. That's okay. And I'll show you why it's okay momentarily here. Oh, wait, maybe that part's not okay. Oops, I made a mistake. But we can bring back the all for one, hit him again. So maybe we just kill him and now the block doesn't matter. Nice. Okay. Good, because I actually made a mistake not dual casting before the first offer one, but it's all good. And we have a full complement of orbs here. Can rebound, but what would be the point? Alright, so we actually come out of this fight full health. That is incredible. Uh, I don't even know what to do here. There we go. Okay. And look at that. The flower is on too. Oh, snap. That is the one flaw this deck had, is that one madness could hit the other. Now they can't. We are in full control now. Oh my gosh, that's so good. What more could we have asked for? None of those are worth adding to this finely tuned machine. Good old Ohio muscle. All right, so let's see here. We're going to start as per usual. Cool headed into fission. Works very well. I already found one madness, which is actually a little disconcerting. Claws free. Consume. Get it out of the way. Core Surge, Hologram, a zero cost. And now we can seek for... A one cost... <coughs> That's a good question. We have a madness sitting here. I suppose ideally we'd want to go for the cool headed. Does that mean we also pick a zero cost? Like zap. Fill our orb slots up. That seems reasonable. Oh, I hadn't cast the seat cat. <laughs> Alright, and I will do the cool headed. F no. Yes, um, make it zero. Do a little cool headed first. That way it's the first to evoke. And now the zap's behind it. All right. Oh, whoops. I left myself with one energy. I think that was what I was doing with the seek, is trying to figure out a way to... Huh. I don't know how I would have done that differently. The important thing is we got the... Uh... That is a lot of damage. Oh, and you know what? I never drank my potion here. We're going to get hit for a lot here. Um, OK. 
Okay. Well, um, dual cast and steam barrier give us as much block as we can get right now, and then we just rebound streamline to get that ball rolling. Alright, so we're only going to have two energy here. Alright, this is a great turn to pick this up. We'll do that. Streamline. And now this madness hits the all for one. And streamline just became two cost, or one, zero cost. I'll, I'll, put, I'll figure out what number it is eventually, I swear. Alright, so we hit him now. Uh... Let's play all our zeros before we cool headed. Yeah. I just don't like this uh, splash damage we're taking. In fact, I'll go ahead and drink this and <clears throat> see what else is in here. Weakness is really good, but we don't need it just now. Liquid Memories. I don't even know what we would use that on anymore. Uh, everything's free or manageable cost. Maybe that's a lethal dealing potion. It's nice to have the fairy in the bottle as a backup plan. For sure. So let's see here. We claw. We all for one. We claw. Cool headed. Zap. Streamline. Inserter's about to kick over. We can consume then. Good enough. Alright. Okay, so now we can consume, making our orb stronger. Zap first. Cool headed. The one that costs. Claw, streamline. And now we hologram not the streamline, but the claw. Because it's going to just get bigger and bigger and bigger. Good enough. Yeah, can you guys imagine if we had blind when we didn't need it to do all the blocking? It would just be getting in the way with these status cards. Okay, so since we're getting hit for a lot, this is a turn where we will dual cast. And then since we have two orbs, I'll do the checking the make sure that we don't actually overdraw here. Well, cool headed first so that when we bring all our stuff back, we can dual cast a frost orb again to get that free block. Told you guys this is going to be amazing. Dual cast is right now 24 block and we can regurgitate it to our heart's content. That is out of this world. So now we just have to do this every single regurgitation. We just got to make sure we cool headed first and then zap. So now when we hologram the all for one what do we rebound in this little mixture or do we like try to go pseudo infinite and keep the coal added that might be the play alright so we didn't get the zap back the burns actually occupying our hand which is unfortunate because now when we do this deck gets reshuffled. Alright, so now we can do more block. And I'm only doing this because we're actively casting a lot of stuff, so beat of the heart's still chewing through what we're doing here. And I might have been able to do this in a better order. Streamline. All for one. Look at this, guys. We're actually approaching his damage cap for the turn. Uh, we don't need the dual cast now, I think. I think we're good enough. 
Uh, so we can, oh, especially since we're going to be... Yeah. Um, I'm going to wind out the clock here, so to speak. By doing this, so we get the most zappage. And then I'll go ahead and hit with rebound, I think. Claw's better. Alright, I'm going to keep going just for the sake of ramping Claw up one more time. There we go. So that's all we can hope for. And I'll leave the Frost Orb up front so that we can get that block from that next turn. Alright, so this is pretty much over now. We just went pseudo-infinite. I actually hit his da damage cap, which means this next turn should be a given. Uh, we're not even going to bother with the consume because we just got this unlocked. Uh, in fact, I would go so far as to say we don't need... Well, alright, so we can't cool-headed because we're at zero cards. So we want to say streamline, zap. We can consume. Might as well show off what's possible. Zap actually gives us the block we need for beat of the heart. Uh, we can dual cast on a lightning orb. So that's fine. We do that. Claw. No, we want to give Claw the killing blow. Can't do that yet. Alright, never mind. No need to get fancy here. Hologram. All for one. Do you get the killing blow? Nope. We do give it to Claw. Yay! And I probably could have managed that better as far as putting block up before. I did want to draw attention to the fact that we only had the two block cards, Hologram and Steam, whatever it's called. That's going to do it for this run. I hope you guys enjoyed it. That was something I, unlike anything I've ever even seen before, so really pleased to bring it to you guys. I'll see you guys in the next run. Take care.